Good evening. Today is January 16, 2024. It's currently 6.24 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I received this word from the Lord at approximately 3.55 p.m. this afternoon. He wants this particular word titled, I Stand at the Door and Knock. Um, as always, I'm going to encourage you that you're supposed to test every spirit. Do not just take what people are telling you at face value. Take it back to the Lord. Spend some time meditating on his word. He will speak to you there. Ask him to confirm or deny what you heard today. Ask him if it came from his spirit. And then you can also ask him if this is something that was pertaining to you as well. This is what the Lord said. Do you hear me calling you? Do you hear me knocking at the door? Who are you worshiping? Who are you singing and dancing for, if not for me? I am nowhere in this house. You claim this is God's house, but my presence is nowhere to be found. You take your seat week after week. You put on your best clothes. You clap and stomp your feet. This is supposed to be a house of prayer, not a social club. Where is the honor in this? I am nowhere in your midst. My presence is absent. I am not welcome here. What gospel is this? Why are you perverting my word? I did not present myself as a living sacrifice so you could revel in and be comfortable in your sin. If you died to it, why does it still have so much power over you? If your mind has been transformed, why are you still thinking the same way you always have? Why are you still trapped in condemnation? When it is written, there is therefore now no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Are you in me? Am I in you? Have you been baptized in water and the spirit? Those who are in me practice righteousness. Those who practice sin know me not. Have you confessed me with your mouth? Proclaim me as Lord and believed in your heart that God raised me from the dead. Why do you call me Lord and not do what I say? How can you love me and hate your brother? Your zeal is misdirected. You love the things of this world, but friendship with the world is enmity with me. You cannot serve two masters. You will love one and hate the other. I know your hearts. Selfish ambition lives in this house. Pride and vain glory reside here. Where is the love for your brother? Where is the love for your neighbor? Everyone should be welcome in my house. If I am not partial, why are you? Why do you say sit here in a good place to those in expensive attire and turn up your nose at those not dressed to your standards? Have I not created all of you? Is your righteousness any different from their own? Are they not all filthy rags? Why do you have such a high estimate of yourselves? You have become haughty and arrogant. There will be no haughtiness on my holy mountain. I resist the proud. Will you join my temple to idols? You are to worship the Lord your God. Him only shall you serve. So why do you seek to please man? Those who seek to please man cannot be my disciple. Fear of man is a snare. So why do you fear man much more than the God who can cast body and soul into hell? My kindness is meant to draw you to repentance. You died to live for me. So why are you still living for yourselves? You are not your own. And yet I see many of you trying to be your own God. I am God and there is no other. If you are not following me, who are you following? Many of you idolize man. Many of you idolize your pastors. They are the overseers of my flock. I am the great shepherd, the God of all wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Follow me. I would prefer you to be hot or cold, but because you are lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth, cast you away as a profane thing. Rejected silver. It is almost impossible once you have tasted of my goodness and witnessed my heavenly power for you to be reconciled back to me 
seeing as you have crucified me afresh. Seek me with your whole heart while I may be found. Call upon me while I am near. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, but you must repent. Turn away from the sway of the wicked one and the sin that so easily entangles. Turn to me and live, says the Lord. I'll include all the, uh, all the confirmations at the end of this verse.